Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we are returning to Manor Lords, an upcoming strategy and uh, city builder game set in the medieval period in which you run a manor, I guess, or run a series of provinces, uh, yeah, I guess trying to build up a, a medieval city. Now, this is episode number three of our Let's Play series. In our first episode, we basically just sort of looked at the basic mechanics, uh, set up a very basic town, and kind of figured out how to balance the important resources of firewood and food. In our second episode, we managed to expand the town a bit more and survived our first year. In today's video, we are going to start the process of farming. To this point, we've basically been a hunter-gatherer society, and so we haven't really had to worry too much about anything because the berries available to us and the, the deer available to us were sufficient to feed this little community. But the community is growing. Uh, the need for food is growing. We will stop seeing our surplus of food increase. In fact, it will begin to shrink. Uh, no immediate concern. We still have... Probably, if we put more people to hunting and berry collecting, sufficient resources to support the current size of the town, but that will rapidly change. And so in today's episode, uh, we sort of lay out our first farm field. Uh, we begin to plant it as the spring gets underway, and we begin to see that begin to grow. We've also, we'll start to see enemy armies showing up on the, uh, on the map. Um, doing things that we need to kind of keep an eye on. So we'll see how that plays out. Um, also, it seems like there is a potential risk of a uh, brigand raiding our town. Uh, not for a little while still, but um, that, that two-year grace period that the game starts out with uh, is going to come to a close. And also, kind of circling back with regards to crops and plants and things, when you build a farm, when you build a, a field, you also need to build a farmhouse when you build a farmhouse, you also need to build a windmill to convert that grain into flour, and then you need to build a bakery to convert that flour into, into, into bread. So this is a game where supply chains are important, and it's not just like, hey, you build a field and you get, you get resources from farming. You need to build the, all of the support structures involved in order to get that going. With that being said, guys, this was taken from a live stream on the Twitch channel, so we are going to go ahead and turn it back over to my live stream itself and get back into it. Hope you guys enjoy. Let me know your thoughts below. And uh, without further ado, let's jump on in. I think we're going to build a farm, but we're going to wait until we get to spring. There's no sense in having a farm that can't, can't do anything. I suppose we could just set the field, lay the field out. So we'll do a field for... Plotting the fields. Fields need to be very large to be effective. They take a long time to plow by hand. Try a field size for about of one Morgan. Got it. Alright, so this field is probably ideally situated. I don't want, like, it's going to be in the way. It's not really a good... Like, this would be a much higher yield field over down here. The dark green. It's still greenish, though, so. Okay, that's too small. Farmhouses employ families who work on the fields. Okay. When crops are growing, they absorb certain nutrients from the soil, temporarily lowering its fertility and thus diminishing yields over time. Okay. I'm enjoying it so far. I like it. Alright, so that's the field. We need to build a farmhouse, right?
Which is where? Farmhouse. This is a preview build that is available for content creators. The game enters early access on the 26th. Alright, so we're gonna do this stuff. I'm probably overbuilding now. I was all like, don't overbuild! Be careful! And now I'm definitely overbuilding. But I can see why um, doing resource collecting at first is very much appealing. Um, because at the end of the day... Oh, sorry. I got sidetracked. So it says 95% efficiency. I don't know if the wind is stronger in different spots on the map. We're setting a lot of things up to build here. We're building a little metropolis over in this corner. New message. We've received reports of a band of raiders roaming the nearby lands. Shall we track their steps? Prepare for the attack. Track their movements. Alright, well, we, we do have... We can raise up to 20 soldiers for our spearmen. Rally the men! Which I don't know if 20 men is enough, but it's what I've got equipment for. Alright, let's... I'm gonna need more. I'm, I'm expanding the population pretty rapidly. So we're gonna need that field with resources. With, uh... Not resources, but with this new population that we're setting up. All right. The storehouse is full. We'll make it larger then. A new family started moving in. Hell yeah. Alright, that's right. I got 12 family plots and we're, we'll have 11 families now. So then we're going to build another to have 13. Overall, people seem fairly pleased at the moment. Mostly because they're like, hey, this place has more than one type of food. We've got bread. How does the bread keep going up? I don't understand that. Oh, they just pull it from storage. Okay. Plenty of berries and meat. The berries will come back in the spring. Oh, it's March. Snow should start melting. We've made it through a year, ladies and gentlemen. We've survived the first winter. I also really like the way the game handles... I mean, I haven't... This is my first farm I'm growing. But at least based on what I know from the way the game seems to work is that you plant crops in the spring, they grow in the summer, you harvest them in the fall. So it's not a lot like a lot of games like Tropico where it's just like, they're growing year-round. And in Tropico's defense, like, that's a tropical island, so it's not, you know... A temperate climate like this but I do love that idea of like you get all your food all at once at the end of the year so that's again why I don't 
think necessarily that farms are the best way to start. Like, you should try to go the hunter-gatherer route initially, I think. But that's my two cents. Take it for what it's worth. Alright, so we've got 12 family. 11 families are here. 12 living spaces. I'm assuming next month we'll get a 12th family and then we'll hopefully build the 13th home after that. I will say the. The, the sections on the map feel a little small. You can kind of see that, like, you know, we've already taken up a big chunk of this, this region. Obviously, we'll want to go to other regions, but... Hey, our berries are growing now. Yay! Go get more berries, folks. Go get more berries. We're going to need more food. we got plenty of firewood now. 14 months. Alright, so it feels like the, the village is a decent... You've got two people for lugging stuff around. You've got... Someone at the saw pit, the logging camp, the woodcutter's lodge. You've got someone at the granary and the storehouse. Are there two food stalls now? Looks like it. Interesting. There we go. There's our 12th family on the way in. Was that? That was weird. Okay, we're up to a total population of 35 people, 24 of them men. Did we ever assign anyone to the stone cutter? We didn't. So one of the new family will do the stone deposits. Meanwhile, we're slowly mining iron. Ever so slowly. I am in year two now. Oh, year three? Really? I've only seen one winter. How is it year three? We're taking our time, Tortuga, but good to see you. Gotta assign someone to the windmill. We probably should assign folks to the farmhouse in the spring. If the field's not set to follow workers, we'll. Okay. Forty-two percent. That cannot be a good. I don't know what the deal with rye is. I want to. I wanted to plant rye, but. You gotta unlock, right? How do you do that? Honestly, I don't need the iron right now. Another ruler's army was sighted. What? Oh god. What? What? Oh, are they gonna go wipe out the bandits? The illegitimate baron is gonna go wipe the bandit camp out for us? Okay. Not necessarily what I wanted, because, as I understand it, bandit camps have a nice little bit of loot. But it looks like that's what they're going to do. I wonder if new bandits form up, like new bandit camps form, even if you, like, destroy them. So they've got... This is kind of gives us some intel on what maybe we'll need to prepare for later. But they've got local thugs, light mercenary infantry, light mercenary infantry, and then they're attacking. Well, they're attacking with. Right, so they've got what? A hundred and. 
eight soldiers plus some thugs. So about 120 soldiers. Where are the bandits, though? They're nowhere to be found. Do we get to see a battle, even though I'm not participating? I'm just going to go into this empty camp and burn it. Or maybe there's a fog of war thing here. Well, that camp's gone. Oh, I haven't even seen that bandit camp. That's up north of us. Okay. Yeah, we are eating more food than we are producing. I can assign more folks to gather berries and hunt. Actually, no one's no one's even gathering berries right now, are they? No. I don't know that I need more planks right now, so let's take someone out of there and you can go help with the plotting or planting of the field. I wouldn't clear out bloody. What are you saying? I'm brave. So I need clothing. Is that how you upgrade to a tier 2? You need clothing? Also, it doesn't seem like there's much point in assigning anybody to a trade post at this time. Because I'm not doing any trading. So let's pull this guy off. You can go be a farmer for now. Plot that, you know, help with that field. Turn my hides into leather. Yeah, that's another thing we should do. Uh, that'll be worth more. Rather than just... I was thinking, oh, we'd sell the hides, but... I suppose a tannery makes more sense. Um, do tanneries have smells in this game? Do I need to worry about how close we put that to the houses? Let's put it over here. It's a little bit further away from the houses and it's right next to the... to the hunting camp where the hides are probably going to be generated assuming they don't get dragged to the storage facility. That's actually a sign. So we're going to have all but one person working here. Yay, we got another family member, right? A family member joins one of the settlers. We started moving in. We have 14 homes, don't we? Well, maybe not. I need more food so we don't starve. We're gonna plant the crops and then... Why does it look like they're turning it into barren waste? Like, it's all... I guess it's supposed to be topsoil? <laughs> it looks like it's going from a normal field to... Gross. Alright. Plowing by hand because we don't have the resources. Have a good one, Hoff. Thank you. I hope I'm glad you enjoyed lurking. Are we producing vegetables? Don't look like it. How do you I don't know, Tortuga. I was thinking about wrapping it up soon, honestly. I'm pretty tired, and my wife's got to do some work tomorrow, so I'm actually going to have to be sole parenting duty for a while in the morning. 
So I probably should get to bed before it's too late. Why are you gonna stream? If you're gonna stream, I'll I'll kick folks over to you. It's weird that you get this alert excess goods when it's just because there's one log in storage here. It's like it's a it's a max of one. So if there's any logs here. I'm enjoying it, yeah. I'm playing it probably at a slower pace than I think a lot of folks are on these streams. But I'm okay with that. I mean, I don't know if other folks enjoy it being a bit of a slow pace, but... Alright, so we can mostly keep the windmill and the, and the communal oven idled until we get to harvest season, at which point then we'll want to crank it up but it's a lot of timber just sitting at the lumber camp just in these big piles we've almost got the field completely sewed so then we can take all the folks who are assigned to this work and move them to other things right i don't i think while it grows you don't need uh you don't need people doing that that work have i built a manor yet i have not read what do I need to do that, anyway? I need... 20 more planks. Or, I need 20 planks. How many planks do I have? I've got 15. Let's do that. Before we wrap up today, we are going to build a manor. So, the field is sowed, right? I think. Alright, so the field is... Oh no, they're sowing it now. So they plowed it, and now they're sowing it. So I gotta leave the folks on to do that. And then once it starts growing, then we'll... Let them do their thing. I want a manor. Oh yeah, we can do a manor now. Alright. Get off the planks. Summer's coming soon. Alright, we should be in the heart of our kingdom, right? The manor should be in the center. Or is this kind of where it should be, over by the hunting cabin? I'm just thinking, like, where do my people will know my vengeance? I suppose over here by the trading post, so, like, everybody who comes into town... We'll see this, the manor right here. Um, I don't know. Maybe over here by the market, by the church too. Yeah, I don't know if it needs to, I'm, I'll put it here because I don't know if it needs more space. In the event, whoops, in the event that it gets expanded, if it needs to be expanded. So let's put it here. Uh, welcome to the castle planner. Here you can edit the layout of your castle and plan the construction of new wings and towers. Build with plenty of space. I don't know if this is plenty of space. I didn't realize that. Okay, got it. I have no, no room for, I could do an outer tower. Walls and gates, outer tower, garrison tower, tax office. Cosmetic only, under re under rework. Okay, well, tax office sounds useful, but if it's only cosmetic at the moment. This is connected to the roadway, right? Um. Is this a wall? 
probably should have. Because, like, now my people can all get to me. Can I undo this work? I can't destroy the palace. No. Demolish. All right. Well, I think I might hold off on doing the manor until a little bit later. Well, hmm. Let's build the manor. But now that we know we need space, Build it over here. We'll just do this for now. I don't know if that makes a lot of sense, but we can always expand this later. We've got room over here. I don't really know what I'm doing with the manor, but... People are really happy. We don't have that previous penalty for homelessness. People love the food variety. They love the church level. We could probably upgrade the church soon, too. We need to get more clay tiles, but... Okay. Man, we're still building that tannery? Right, how's the... How's the sowing of the field going? 92%? It's still April, so it's still technically spring. I wonder if you can do two crop types. 42% seems low. Well, it feels like we should have chosen a better, a better place. There's a burn button? Where? Oh, burn the field? Would that increase the fertility? Or what would the purpose of that be? Just denying it to a raider? All right, crop growth. If the crop's growing, we probably don't need all these folks assigned to it, right? I'm assuming you only need the folks assigned to it when you're sowing and plowing and harvesting. So right now it's just growing. Set fire to your enemies. Tannery was just completed, so let's go ahead and... Well, not that. Assign someone there. Also, we need to assign someone to the berry field. We'll assign two folks to the berry field. Take advantage of the berries while they're here. Get us some more food. Leather is what we need to upgrade the houses to two. Is that because we need the clothing stall? Is it leather and linen and yarn? Or is it just leather or linen or yarn? Another ruler's army was sighted. Where? Are they just roaming the countryside, wiping out the... Ra the raiders? Seems like it almost. Any of those materials, got it. Okay. So yeah, then we can upgrade to a level 2 house, and then once we have two, two level 2 houses, then the village will upgrade to the next si settlement size, which is a medium village. I think we turned off the iron deposit mine, but we could go back and do more of that. I don't think we spent any of the iron. I think it's... Oh, we've got 24 in here. Just sitting. Just sitting in the storehouse. We could get a blacksmith. Tortuga warned me about that. Don't drag that across the field! I hope that doesn't matter. 
<laughs> You're dragging this giant log across the field. All right, we got three leather. Um, what do I not have? I need no. All right, so. Iron slabs to craft tools. So this converts iron ore to iron slabs. Iron slabs can be then converted to tools. How do you create weapons? I guess you need a blacksmith for that, right? I'm assuming iron slabs are what you convert to tools. What do I do with leather though? Nothing? Well, they should set that up as soon. They should set that up soon. You know, honestly, I think I'm going to cancel the manor. I can do that later. Once I have a better sense of what I'm going to do with that. Uh, uh, oh, the resources just stay there, so someone's got to carry them back. Okay. Crop growth up to 7%. Stay away from my provinces. I don't care what you do over there. Just stay away from me. Alright. This leather should be moved. Oh, it is. So it's down to three. So it must be moving to the marketplace. Or at least to the storage section. It's moving somewhere. No, they're working at the... His family owns a market stall. Okay. Where? I don't see their stall yet, but apparently they own one. Here we go. Upgrade. Yes. Also upgrade. We're going to do two upgrades for these homes to level two. Should generate some income for the town, which will be nice. And then should also expand the town from a small village to a medium village, which should give us another upgrade for the town. Yep. Hey, Tortuga, once... If you're going to start ra streaming soon, I'll, I'll raid you. Just... Let me know. We'll probably be finishing up here soon. Right. Estimated source produced. Is this field really not going to produce anything? Or is it just if we were to harvest today?
Another ruler's army was sighted. Stop telling me that. I don't want them anywhere near me. They can do whatever they want. Way down there. Go deal with those fools. Berries so plump and juicy, they'll make your mouth look like Denethor. Who wants to eat like a possessed lunatic? Come eat these berries. Alright, once these upgrades complete, I think I'll build another house or two also. I think we could use a few more more folks in this town. I think we've got... We're producing enough at the moment to supply our people. I like having two people assigned to dragging stuff around. We are consuming that berry deposit pretty rapidly. But we've got sufficient... hunting resources. If you took all the workers off the field, maybe the yield reflects that. Maybe? Why would I need workers on the field for growing? I think the purpose is it doesn't intend for you to keep folks on the field 24-7. I think it's because they're... Like, if we were to harvest now, there's nothing... Like, it, the weed has barely just started growing. I could be wrong. Because look, they're not doing anything. They're just waiting. So they're waiting for the crops to grow. I'm curious about the vegetables, though, because... Oh, they want level 2 church now that they're a level 2 burger? Well, I need some clay to do that, so we'll have to wait a little bit. Who wants to wear raw leather? Just throw a skin on like you're a freaking deer. Just throw it over your head. You're all good. Alright, so they upgraded this house. It's got a nicer looking roof. It almost looks like a shingled roof rather than a thatch roof. So you can kind of see the difference in the class of the building. I don't know if it impacts, like, does a worker need to be of a certain stature to work here? I don't know the answer to that. But it'll start generating us some income too, which is nice. I think. It says it's supposed to in any event. Okay, they're working on that. Settlement level increased. New development point. I can now. Um, charcoal burning opens up a charcoal kiln. Converts firewood into charcoal, making refueling twice as efficient. That sounds nice. What are the options here? Trade logistics. Establishing a new trade route always costs a maximum of 25 regional wealth. Why would you want that? Cheap. Apples. A heavy plow enables employing oxen at the farmhouse for significantly faster plowing of large fields as well as bringing crops back to storage more efficiently. Uh, I, I want to get down toward the deep mining, which requires me to go down the charcoal bu building route, so that's why we'll do that. If we upgrade three more homes, we'll become a large village. Well, 
I don't know if there's a reason not to upgrade. I mean, it consumes timber, but I got plenty of that. There's no... It doesn't seem there's any concept of income based on the job they're doing. So all I'm really doing, I think, is spending four timber. Now, if I was to convert them to artisans, yes, that would be a major thing. But I'm not. There we go. Field wheat. Starting to grow. It's up to 18%. Okay. 90% public order. Lack of administration buildings. So I guess I do need to build my manor to get public order back up to 100%. Berries are doing well. Hunting is doing fine, although we've cut into the animal population there a bit. We saw that last year, though. During the summer, the animal population dropped, and then during the winter, it came back, so. There you go. Yield. Four. So, 86 days left. Current yield estimate is four. Presumably as the crop gets more mature, you'll see that yield estimate go up. Interesting they're not cutting down any of these nearer trees. They're cutting down everything further out, but you are seeing these trees start to grow back, so... I'm confused why it says year three. That's gotta be a glitch. We only have done one winter. Fuel's 12, which is 6. Okay, so plenty of fuel. Our income has started going up now that we have these level 2 homes. I can spend that money on... We can make a blacksmith! Oh, so that's what tools are used for. I think Tortuga was asking that in the, in the live stream, or not live stream, in the podcast recordings. What are tools used for? Tools are converted... Wait. And it was production of tools, spears, and sidearms. Never mind. So what are tools used for? I don't know. Shoes. I don't have enough inhabitants yet to just convert them willy-nilly to uh, artisans yet. Have I made spiky sticks for the militia yet? No. But I do, I was gifted some weapons. So I've got 20 soldiers worth of weapons. So we can upgrade. Yeah, I mean, we can raise some troops in the event that bandits come toward us. Which apparently it's claiming that there will be some bandits in the next year. We've still got time. Once these buildings are upgraded, I am going to build some new homes to draw some more people in. Especially now that we're starting to get some farming going here. 72 more days yields up to 10. That's a little bit low compared to what we've got stockpiled from hunting deer and picking berries, but... We can also sell the stone, because we do... I think we've got one family working the stone field down here, right? Yeah. We pulled the family off the iron mine because I didn't have enough families. Hmm. 
All right. Very good, very good. Just waiting for this upgrade to be done, and then I think we'll be... We'll jump up to the next town size. There you go. Stat increase. So, I can now... Now we can do deep mining. Yeah. So, because of that... Hmm. There's no deep mining for stones? Interesting. I guess that's not a mine, per se. Oh, but you can freely relocate that? Okay, so mine, iron and clay are mined. Stones are not. That's good to know. Meanwhile, now that we're generating income, we can open our trading center back up. Uh, but before we do that, I don't want to bring too many more families in because we don't have that much surplus food. But we will bring two more homes in. One of them cannot be upgraded to a size two home, but the other one can. So we'll build two more homes that'll bring our population up to 15 families. Wheat fields yield keeps going up. Still two more months till it's ready to harvest. You can see it's changing colors to that nice gold. Stone cutters camp is full. We'll drag some of the stones to the storage facility. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for today's episode of Manor Lords. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Please leave your thoughts down below. Uh, we have our first farm field being built, you know, being grown. We have our first mill and our first bakery so that when the harvest season does come, uh, we can manage that. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess that's that's what I've got for you here so far. Uh, enemy, brig enemy bands of soldiers have started showing up, although they haven't directly impacted us yet. And the town continues to grow, so... Uh, with f without further ado, that's the historical. This is the historical gamer once again saying thank you for watching. Leave your thoughts below, and until next time, I'm out.